detective. Actually, he's the only one there is. You really love animals, don't you? If it gets cold enough. <laughs> oh, great movie. Ace Ventura, Pet Detective. Well, he helped track down a dolphin stolen from NFL's Miami Dolphins. In real life, the Dallas Zoo has been dealing with some suspicious animal activity on their own. A $25,000 reward is now being offered for information to help find the person responsible for earlier this week, two monkeys went missing from the zoo and later were found in an abandoned house. Now, last week, we told you about the mysterious death of a vulture at that zoo and a leopard that somehow escaped its enclosure. So this morning, we're turning to our own pet detective to get some answers about what's going on. We're joined by Angel Neves. He's a former detective with the NYPD Blue and the founder of Angel Investigations Pet Detective Agency. Hey, good morning. Thanks for joining us, Angel. How you doing? Uh, so, so in this case, in your experience as a pet detective, uh, what is your initial instinct when you hear about all these suspicious activities at the Dallas Zoo? Well, the Dallas Zoo actually started probably before the January 13th. I mean, this person who was there probably went there a couple of times, scope out the place, and actually got into getting one of the animals. Did a couple of attempts. It's like on the 13th, he got the cloud of leopard. Right. I mean, he didn't get it. It was too much for him. It went over his head. So, you know, he just let it go. And then the same day, they found out that he was that there was the same cutting. That, that I call it like a pattern. They cut for the lepers to come out. He did the same thing for the monkeys, which are langer monkeys. They found out in the afternoon. Right. And then he couldn't get those neither. So those those uh, monkeys are very smart. They're from India. And um, then on the twenty first. He was, something happy with the vulture. Yeah, something went wrong. Probably he was the trying vulture to attacked him. Probably the vulture attacked him. And then with the same stuff that he used to cut, probably he injured. Because I don't know, I don't know the what kind of examination they did and what they found out they did not say in the news. But if that could be it, it's a possibility his blood could be in the area. Probably got injured. Probably went to the hospital. Yeah. So those are areas that I would be checking if I was doing the investigation. Well, using some of your background, because you were, you know, a NYPD detective before, now you're a pet detective as, as part of your agency. You know, what are some of the motives? You, it sounds like you're already building a case here. You've talked about what the uh, leading up to it, kind of uh, checking the zoo out. What are some of the motives you think might be behind this? Okay, the, uh, the motive will be in the person's mind. It could be, I mean, the, the monkeys, the Imperial monkeys was found mm -hmm. in an abandoned building, an abandoned house. And that means that person knows this area. Yeah. And when they found the, the two monkeys there, they found dead fish, feces of other animals, dogs. And, you know, I know the dogs were dead, but the thing is, it sounds like he's been into this abandoned building before, yeah. this abandoned house, and brought other animals. Who knows? So, do you think that's an investigation that we're not let the people know neither? Do you think this is possibly somebody that's trying to sell these things? Is that what's going on? I mean, based on your your experience, is that where this is kind of leading this investigation? It could be a demand on it. It could be the black market. Yeah. I mean, down there in Texas, around Florida, in those areas in Mexico. Um, it's a it's a lot of uh, game farms, you know. They have big cats. They yep. have exotic animals. Hmm. I mean, I just read this morning that uh, there was a cartel a shooting, a shootout cartel in Mexico, and when they went in there, they found a monkey in a tuxedo with a bulletproof vest. It was alive. <laughs> well, that... so you know, I mean, this is this is this is. Uh, a big demand on this, but there's also possibility that this guy actually took the uh, monkey for himself, but doesn't have a place to put it because it's hot. Everybody's looking for the monkey. Yeah. So you and just then even got a tip. Somebody calling a tip and say where the monkeys are. So that probably this person knows this guy. He probably talked about it. 
So you just mentioned a, a monkey in a tuxedo and a, and a bulletproof vest. What is the strangest case, uh, animal-involved case, that you've ever solved? Because you've had, you've got to have some stories here. Most of them is um, dogs and cats in New York City. Okay. Uh, but there was a case I wasn't involved at all. I was actually working narcotics when it happened. A case in Harlem in the projects. And this guy, he went, he had a, something was smelling, like a foul smell, people were saying, yeah. but they never complained about it. And meanwhile, this guy opened the door and he threw a chicken inside the apartment, <laughs> but there was a tiger in there. Oh my gosh. And it grabbed his leg. He got hurt. The door closed, so the cops had to come. So they found out there's a tiger inside the projects in this apartment. Only in New York. So if, if, if you look it up, do you see the tech, the cop, the emergency service with a rifle, like a dark gun? Yeah. Right? And you see he's hanging outside by the window, and you see the tiger looking at him. Wow. With a growl. Angel Nieves, founder of Angels Investigations, our pet detective. We appreciate you joining us this morning. Don't go anywhere. Morning Rush continues right. right after this.